So today I want to talk to you about uh, kind of what, what to do when you feel like you're not doing enough. And this is a very com common feeling with people that are uh, achieving success. We all kind of go through that period of time as, and they kind of question, am I doing everything I can? And, and this is a normal uh, feeling that, that we all have from time to time. So it's important, you know, that, that you're going to have these times where you feel inadequate uh, and it's going to make you question that, you know, uh, are, are what you're doing, is it good enough? You may even have friends and family that inadvertently suggest that you're not living up to your full potential. And, and, and these really kind of take this overwhelming feeling of kind of a negative tone. So I want to give you some tips on some things you can do to overcome this feeling. The first tip is really just get off the comparison merry-go-round. You know, one of the, the beautiful things about each one of us is we're all different. And that shows up in how we live our lives. Now, if you're scrolling through social media, you may feel the need to compare yourself. Uh, to others and the important thing is first of all they're they're presenting a, an image of themselves that's probably not the true life they're living they're only presenting the highlights but also when we start comparing ourselves to others it really can really take a detrimental turn for our kind of mental status so really you know you need to stop comparison uh comparing yourself with others another tip is to really write down your past achievements you know there's many things that you've accomplished in your life and and it's important to acknowledge those and celebrate those. You may have performed a, a solo at some type of a, a, a choir competition. You may have uh, won an award for your photography. Whatever it is, you need to really you know, stop and take time to really sh show what you've accomplished and celebrate those wins. Another tip is really let the negative thoughts out. Now, sometimes you just need to get those negative thoughts off your chest. You can do this by you know, finding a friend that will listen, listen to you and offer uh, support, or you may just want to grab a journal and start writing things down. This is going to help you really kind of re realign your focus and, and get those negative thoughts out of your head. Another tip is to redefine what success means to you. You know, so if you're always comparing yourselves to others, then you're also probably comparing success in the, in the caveat of others. So it's really important to understand what is, what is success for you? Not as not what is success that others may may think of you, but what is it that you truly define as your success? And you want to really, you know, get out and live a life that goes for this. You know, it may be simply as being a freelance writer, living in your van, and, and that's great if that's really what you want. So, really, you make sure you understand what success means to you, and not let the outside world interpret success for you. Another tip is to really remember that life is a journey. You know, we often get so caught up in attaining our goals that we really fail to enjoy this journey. And it's important that you actually really take the time and look backwards and, and see how you've grown and see the things that you've accomplished and really uh, take a moment to really enjoy the journey, not just the, the final outcome. Another, cheap, uh, another tip is to really celebrate all your achievements, even the small ones, you know, even the small achievements, they're worth celebrating, you know, so take time to celebrate uh, is going to help you really boost your morale and really set you up for more success. So, for example, maybe you took a daily walk for the last two weeks after being a couch potato for months. Well, that's something to really be excited about and celebrate. Another tip is really just stop thinking too much. You know, when you think too long about things, you start feeling uh, uh, these feelings crop in that often are negative. Uh, and it's important to really, you know, get out of your head is, is what I would say. Try not to overthink things. And, and do something that will refocus you in your mind, you know, so it may be some exercising, painting, reading, uh, just uh, uh, calling up a friend to chat. Uh, really just take some things and, and step back and kind of take that, that mental break. Another tip is to really do something nice for someone else, you know, so making something good happen for someone else helps both you and them. Uh, they enjoy the act of kindness and and you benefit because it's going to help take your focus off of your negative thoughts and really enjoy the moment more. Another tip is really just shorten your to-do list. We all have these extensive to-do lists, and these, these lists can be extremely overwhelming, and they often make us feel inadequate simply because they're just too big. You know, So learn to shorten your to-do list. Really make sure what's on your to-do list are the priorities in your life. They align with your, your purpose and your values, and then make sure those items are are the items you're working on and then remove the items that aren't aren't supporting you uh, to keep that to-do list short um, so what are some things you can do today to really help well first thing you can do is limit your time on social media you know 
the, the problem with social media, like I said, is it's going to lead you to comparison of other people. And you're also comparing a life that's probably not their true life. So really limit your time on social media. Another thing you can do is write down what success means to you and really put this out in the visible world to you so you can always see it and be reminded what, that, what success is to you and really not what success is defined by others. And then a final thing you can do is, is decide on you know an act of kindness you can do for someone else and then just go do it. So again, like I said, you're all, we all go through these periods of times where we just feel like we aren't doing enough or we feel like there's over, we're overwhelmed and, and we can't accomplish everything we need to do. So hopefully some of these action steps and these tips will help you kind of realign that mental space so you can continue to move forward in your journey. And hopefully if there's anything you need from us, just let us know. Thanks.